In Super Bowl VII, the 1972 Miami Dolphins collided headfirst with destiny, defeating the Washington Redskins to secure the first and only undefeated season in NFL history. Ironically, Miami's greatest victory came nearly a year to the day following its greatest defeat. In Super Bowl VI, the Dallas Cowboys humiliated the inexperienced Dolphins, dominating Miami 24-3 in a game that left an indelible impression on the Dolphins' young team. We were so excited to be there in the Super Bowl, I think we forgot about the game. We weren't focused enough. We took a great lesson from that. Everybody to a man. Uh, dedicated himself not only to get back to a Super Bowl, but to win it. The next year, Miami returned to training camp more mature and determined to make amends for the Dallas debacle. We had to play like the only redemption that could be possible would be to go back and relive the opportunity to redeem ourselves in the last game that you play of the year. The Dolphins did not seek perfection. Nevertheless, their style of play yielded that result. Led by an offense that finished first in the NFL in total points scored, Miami performed each week with an intense sense of commitment to reaching team goals. We were so focused and so intent on proving that we were better than the year before that uh, we got a little icing on the cake, which represents 17-0. How you doing, Earl? Nice to meet you. 30 years following that incredible season, Miami remains a close-knit group. One no longer tied together by the need to prove itself, but rather by the desire to reunite regularly to celebrate its achievement. Well, you know, we are a unique team that had that tremendous accomplishment, and I think that that's brought us closer together. This team is really bonded together, and the fact that we get resurrected every year when somebody goes 6-0 or 7-0, they talk about the 72 Dolphins. Often, such discussions fail to properly recognize a defense that complemented its offense by being ranked first in the league. Despite their impressive credentials, the 1972 Miami Dolphins are not usually mentioned near the top in any list of the NFL's greatest teams. When people from Pittsburgh or San Francisco or Green Bay or Chicago talk about how their team was better than the 72 Dolphins, uh, I kind of get a kick out of it. It doesn't really piss me off. It kind of pleases me that they're, they're the ones that are placing the argument on the table. That, that means they feel a need to argue. In a league now governed by parity, there is little debate concerning the improbability of anyone duplicating Miami's accomplishment. The perfect season is not likely to happen again anytime soon. But it is a guarantee that the members of the 72 Dolphins will continue to gather each year for a commemorative toast to honor their season. We're proud of that record. You know, and the toast is really toasting the fact that the record is still a record for another year. The longer it goes, uh, the more special it becomes. We want to keep it ours. I'd like to get it through at least the first 100 years of the NFL. And, you know, think about letting somebody else do it. <laughs>